Hi everyone, this is Science with Margarita. Oh god, that would be fun no. Anyway, uh, you know, I want to introduce everyone, get everyone to know everyone here. So this is Margarita. She is a... She is a Chihuahua. And I don't know if you know this about Chihuahuas, but they're very cold all the time. So I'm going to keep her warm here. Um, I'm Evan. I didn't know if you heard that, that sound a little bit ago, but uh, that was all my trophies falling. I have a lot of trophies, so um, here's a globe. It it uh it works. So yeah, so what we're gonna be uh, doing today, Margarita and I are gonna be teaching you uh, Newton's first law. So um, hope you enjoy. Here we go. Newton's first law is I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. Um, an object in its natural state will remain until an unbalanced force acts upon it, and that basically says that. If Margaret is sitting here, she's not going to explode unless I explode her. You know, she's just going to remain together in her natural state. Um, let me refer to my notes here. I think I have all the information. Um, huh. So many notes, right? No, stay, stay, stay. Good girl, good girl. Anyway, um, basically, I'll explain the, the basics. Basically, the basics of what's going on here, because this is my first video, and this unit kind of focuses on forces and whatnot. Um, a force is a push or a pull, and examples of which, um, you know, a push could be something like normal force, it could be friction or air resistance, and something like a pull would be gravity, magnetism, an elastic force, tension, or uh, pressure. Um, and basically what force does is it causes a change in velocity, whether that be, um, you know, uh, making it change direction, stopping it, starting it, decelerating or accelerating it. Yeah. So, um, let's see. A balanced force or a balanced force on an object is basically when the um, forces all equal, the, the Newton forces equal zero. Now what a Newton is is a measure of force. Don't get it confused with, or mix it with, velocity, you know, meters per second. It's totally different. That's, that's what I had trouble with, you know, at the beginning. Um, I don't think you can see this either, but here's a box, and that box is moving at 10 meters per second to the right, and the forces that are being, you know, say without gravity here, um, there's 10, negative 10 newtons to the left being applied to it, and positive 20 newtons to the right. And basically what's, what that's going to do is it, uh, it's going to accelerate to the right because it's, it has a positive force in the direction of the already natural uh, velocity. So that's pretty much, that's, that's a lot of what Newton's first law is. Uh, Margarita, you had something to say again? Mar Margarita? No, no, never mind, I thought she had something to say. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It's all right. Anyway, um, what else do I have here? Um, now, net force is what I was kind of talking about before. It's the combination of all forces acting upon the object. And um, say uh, there's a surface, and it's, um, it's being pushed down upon by negative 10 N newtons and pushed up upon by uh, positive 20 newtons. The net force is positive 10 newtons, because that's the difference between the two, for the, the, the two opposing forces. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, what an unbalanced force essentially causes is just change, some sort of change. Um, what else? Um, changes that can occur within the first law are obviously speeding up and slowing down, along with stopping, starting, and, this is an important one, changing direction, because that's also velocity, is direction. It is a scalar vector. No, vector, yeah, vector. You know, actually, that, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Margarita hopefully will be here most of the time. She's a good, she's a good kid. Yeah? Excuse me, Margarita. I'll put you down.